Hello everyone. This is Priyanka. Welcome to my channel Priyanka's IT School. Today I'm going to start with one more session on Selenium. How to set up Selenium web driver on Firefox browser. Basically in the last video I have covered how you can set up Selenium web driver on Chrome and how you can prepare a first test case, right? Today I'm going to cover how to set up web driver on Firefox. So guys the same same thing you need to do like for setup you know test case or web driver on firefox what you need to do first process is what you should have a particular driver file so guys you have to download a driver again the same process we have to download a driver okay for firefox then the next process is what you have to set up this driver okay to your project so set up driver to project correct for this, again the same, we are going to use system.set property method. And then in the system.set property method, you have to pass key and the value. Remember. So, what is a key for Firefox? Firefox is actually provided by Kiko driver. So, you just need to write a key as a Kiko. Okay. Let's say I will be writing in this way. In double quote, you have to write web driver dot Kiko dot driver. This is a key. And whatever location will be there for your driver file, okay? That location you can maintain here. So here I can say path, path of the driver you can maintain, okay? Now what to do? So let's download first a driver file. So go to the selenium.dev official website, right? Here in the download section, if you notice, you will get the browser section. Just scroll down the page. You will get this browser section, open it. And here you can see the first browser is Firefox. So it is Geeko driver implemented. It is supported by Mozilla, correct? So what to do? Go to the documentation. Inside documentation, you can just go to this Geeko driver drivers. And here, see the latest version is available 0 0.32. Basically for Firefox, you don't need to check any version, okay? The, you know, the details are available here that this browser is supported for any version which is greater than you know, 104 version. So you can see if on my system, if I want to check the version, see again, I can open a Firefox. I can check the version, which version I'm using. Let's see. So here you can see I'm getting 106. That means whatever Firefox driver I'm going to download now, this is supported for this version, correct? So just scroll down the page and here you can see all the files are available. Check your platform and as per your platform, you guys can simple download this particular file. Let me, let me just uh, show you all the asset, whatever it is available. So see, I'm using Windows 64 bit, so I can directly use this one, correct? You have to download this. See when zip folder get downloaded again, what to do next? Go to your Eclipse, correct? And uh, I will just do one thing, go to first download section. Then I will just, Cut this file from here, okay? And inside Eclipse, I will be showing you how to add a driver directly to your project. So yesterday we have created, okay, in the last video, we have created this driver folder. Inside this folder, I have to add this file. So go to properties, go to this location, and then in your system, whenever driver folder is available, paste your file here. Can you see? I have pasted here Geeko driver. This is a zip folder to extract it. Let me extract. See, using this option, extract here, I'm going to extract it. So now you can see I'm getting that Geeko driver here. Let me delete this zip folder now. We don't require it. And just close the folder or close that window. And see, you can refresh your driver. So automatically you are able to see Geeko driver is available here. Correct? Now, we guys are able to prepare a script. So one more time. Under same package, web testing, I'm going to create a new class. Let's see. This is what? This is a setup. Or I will say test for Firefox. Let me write a simple. Test for Firefox. Okay. Now, take a main method and see. Very first, we just need to perform automation on web application. So, guys, we are just going to write here first statement. That is web driver reference. That I'm going to write web driver driver. It is equal to new and the object of interface is not possible. Correct? Web driver is interface. So we can use here child class. So 
So I'm going to use a child class this time. This is my Firefox driver. Remember, in this way, you have to design your child class. Then, guys, import it. Import web driver from same package, org, open, QS, selenium. And Firefox driver also, you just need to import from the same, org, open, QS, selenium, Firefox package. Import it. But as I told you, only one statement is not enough to launch a browser. Correct? If you write this and if you run it, definitely you will get an exception. That exception called illegal state exception. It will ask you to set up a driver path for this Firefox browser. Let's see. If I run the code, I'm getting one exception. Okay, let this complete. Okay, so this time, I guess it has launched successfully. Okay, but that is wrong. So initially, if you try now, you will get exception. Okay, fine. That's okay. Let me set up. In fact, still it is opening my browser automatically, but still let me, you know, set up my system property system dot obviously set property and here you can pass your key that is web driver yes then again for firefox you have to set up geeko driver remember so just write geeko dot driver and then guys whatever path we have you know uh, set for that particular driver that means whatever location will be there for your driver just copy that path here so first, I need to take a location of my project. So I will be just taking, you know, dot operator and here one forward slash, which will capture a complete location of my project. Along with that, I just required this location. So let me just right click on Geeko driver, go to the properties. It is available inside driver folders along with a file. So I will just copy that particular path and I will paste it here. So these two statements will help you to launch your browser. Always remember. So whenever you want to set up any driver, right? You just need to set up this way. So these two statements will help you one more time to launch. Okay, this time to launch, you know, Firefox browser. So what I'm expecting this time, which browser should open? Firefox browser should open. Let's see whether it is opening. So if you run the test case, see the result. Yes, this time you can see I'm getting the browser. Yes, browser got open now. Yes, but I want to perform automation. I want to open an application inside my browser. So guys, yesterday we have seen to open any application, correct? We can use, you know, get command. Remember, so let me just write here to open application. We will write driver.get. Here you can pass URL address of the application, whatever application you want to open. Example, this time, let me open Facebook. So if I write here facebook.com, so I'm expecting that application should open in the Firefox browser. Let's see. Yes, can you see? Your browser got open along with your Facebook application, correct? And one more time, if you just want to check the title and all, just capture a title, validate a title. Yes, you can do that. So I will say to capture let me write properly to capture title, which method? Again, we can use driver.getTitle method, which will return you string. So either you can fetch the title and you can store as expected or actual title. Yes, currently we are accepting title from the application. So this is my actual title. So let me just write, this is the actual title. And whatever actual title will be there, I can first print inside my console. So let me write, application title is okay and you know here you can print that title again as i told you every test case is incomplete without validation so to validate title what you can do see currently we are having title in the stream so i can directly apply validation point here if actual title it is equals but we should know expected title guys so if you just notice here when you open Facebook application, what is the title? Let's see. For Facebook, what is the title you are getting? So when I open this, I'm getting Facebook login and sign up. So suppose I just want to check only the Facebook is available or not. So here I cannot perform equality. You know, I just want to check that substring, the partial string is available or not. So here I can directly use which method? Contains method. Remember, that title 
actually contains contains what so here i'm writing again facebook if there is a facebook it should pass okay that is what i'm expecting from the application so let's see here if title match i should get the message title match test pass one more time correct similarly for invalid scenario or for invalid title i should get this message one more time i'm writing here title not match and here i can just maintain a simple you know message that test failed that's it in this way we can perform validation so let's see this time what is the result so when you run the test case you will get this particular result just observe facebook will launch yes and inside a console check your result so currently i'm getting this is my complete title so if you want to match complete title then only you can use equals method of a string class otherwise for partial matching i have just written here contents correct and this is the way guys you guys are able to execute it as case and set up web driver on firefox browser i hope you guys uh, you guys will understand or you guys are understanding all the topics whatever i'm you know explaining to you guys sometimes it happens whenever you execute first time with a firefox firefox will automatically fail so if it is getting fail do not worry about that just execute it one more time and you will get the solution sometimes in the background firefox get updated and because of that your test might fail so just be careful on the firefox and then you can use so automation you can perform on any browser so it's your choice that which browser you just want to test so it's up to you correct so in the next video i will be covering next topic related to selenium setup on one more browser that is available on my system that is microsoft edge that's all for the day thank you so much for watching this video stay tuned stay sub, uh, like stay safe and please subscribe my channel thank you